Hello YouTube, I'm the Game of Pegasus 187, and this is the Science for Sunday, episode 25. Yes, going through the ice world in Mario 3. And it's... A uh, monumental pain in the ass. It... You know, shit like this. Like, it gets worse. Like, this is that fucking Nintendo app. Where you can't get any traction on anything. You're slip sliding all over the place, and it's, it just sucks. Part of the reason I hate ice. Especially in winter. Because then you end up you're trying to walk to work one day and you slip and you spend your damn iPod. So, WrestleMania is one week away. I should be more excited than I am, but I'm not. Here's why. Outside of Sting, and Triple H, and Bray, and Taker, I'm not. It's a four-hour rock. It's a fucking four hour raw. We're gonna go over our predictions on Slamcast. Uh, it's coming Friday, so. There's no reason for me to go over them here. But I have no faith that Rusev goes over Cena at all. You know it's gonna be Cena wins, LOL. And what's the fucking purpose? There is no purpose to having Cena win, LOL. But he has to because he's fucking John Cena. Complete waste of an entire year with Rusev. Complete waste. Just to put him against Cena. Look what happened when Cena buried the fucking Nexus. <laughs> Good God. Wade Barrett really still hasn't recovered. You know he's had multiple intercontinental title reigns, but champs are chunks. Why is Intercontinental Champion losing every week? He's like 1 in 9 or 1 in 10 and or something on uh, TV. I don't fucking get it. But I blame Vince McMahon. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. But then you go, you watch NXT, and it's fucking amazing. You have proper payoffs to storylines. You have good wrestling. Divas that are actually halfway decent. I'd rather not go to the main roster, because you know what they're going to fucking do. Look what they did with Paige and Emma. It was back in NXT. Paige isn't even getting a actual title shot. It's her and AJ against the Bellas. Why? Because Total Divas, that's why. Yeah. Even Marie Cameron still have a job. Why? Because Total Divas, that's why. Makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Earth. Excuse me. 
I don't quite get it. I, I, I just don't get it. Why? The fucking Total Divas Riders. Yeah, that's the reason that stupid uh, Nikki and Bree storyline went nowhere. Just all of a sudden, a month later, they were on good terms. Because originally it was going to feed into something their stupid little not-reality show, and then they decide, oh, we're going to go in a different direction. Oh, it makes no fucking sense. <laughs> no fucking sense whatsoever. World 6 is long, lady. Especially if you play every stage like I do. Why? Because why the hell not? I've been playing a little more uh, my NBA 2K15, so yeah. Really, so much to say about that. Besides, um, a lot more involved in Super Pug. So, the survivor cards I have been pulling, I don't want to get rid of them. I've gotten Piper, Bray Wyatt, uh, Taker, Stone, uh, Taker, um, Rock, Stone Cold, and I just got, uh, Daniel Bryan. And it's like, great, nothing I can, you know, reasonably get rid of because we're going to be good cards. You know, I think like Austin and Rock are like top ten as far as we you know pros. So why would I get rid of them? Piper's pretty decent, you know, Bray's really good. But <laughs> Oh, tired chick. But it's like nothing I can decently get rid of. I mean, I got rid of Bo Dallas because he's going to be nothing later on. Watch, my next Survivor Fusion is going to end up being Roman because everyone has to make Roman really strong. And that's the other prediction I really have for at least now because you know it's going to be Cena wins, LOL. And Roman's gonna look really, really fucking strong. God, help me. Oh my god, I, I fucking... Yeah, by the way, it's easier to kind of go to this level because I could feasibly do it and have a firefly and get all those coins, but fuck it. such a fail. Yeah, fuck this ice! Oh, the uh, People's Champion Challenge has ended on Super Card. I got my three all for there, so I'm happy about that. I think a shit ton of Minecraft, a lot of Rayman Origins, um, 
that can play some more than the and I'm looking at this faster. By the way, you could feasibly run through this entire cab, this entire castle, have a star man, and then when you touch boom boom at the end, you beat him in one hit. So. Finding them on ice is a pain in the ass. So here we go, next level, which is green as shit. I get it either. This seems like. Oh, there is one thing I guess I can bring up now that this has happened. So, Raymond Stereo's first back, uh, match back, and then that just helped with them finally released them. I mean, they rolled over his contract because they did, and you know, it was good business. They didn't want him going anywhere else. You know, Del Rio, they fired him for standing up for himself. And jackass who's being a racist moron. <laughs> but, so... Guy dies in the rain, in the rain, in a, during Max Ray Mysterio. What happened was, is when he fell onto the road to the 619, he... Ended up uh, another guy ended up following the same. I think it was a uh, Matt TNA Manic, uh, TNA's Manic in suicide costume, whatever. And he basically crushed his trachea up, from what I understand, and so he was dead instantly. So, yeah, like it is. It just it was a freak accident, and. Anyone who is blaming Rey Mysterio for this, shut the fuck up. Know exactly what the fuck you're talking about. Otherwise, go run for Congress in the United States, because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about 100% of the time. Especially if they're Republicans. Like Ted Cruz. Oh god, I could go off for a half hour on that motherfucker, but... Let's put it this way. Ted Cruz running for president. <laughs> the comedy... The late night comedy writers are gonna be busy. The jokes are gonna be... They're gonna be able to pull jokes... Nearly out of nothing. Like, all Chris says one word, so there's 20 jokes. Like, <laughs> like Ted Cruz running for president is a late night comedy writer's dream. He is so easy to make fun of, so I won't do it here. But I could. Just fuck him. Alright, um. Okay. So. So. 
WrestleMania week, on WWE Super Fight, it looks like they might release the new tier this week. Interesting. I'm excited. Does it help that you don't have, you know, WrestleMania? Uh, bum, 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 bum. WrestleMania tier, uh, do 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 do. Um, Throw to Glory, Throw to Glory. I can't even think. I'm tired, I'm over. Drained from last night. Yes. Um. I, I did talk a little bit about, uh, Minecraft, because I mean, I've been addicted to that. So much of my work decided to buy the game, and now I'm addicted to Minecraft, so, haha, <laughs> wonderful! Fuck. I can play that here in a little bit, once I'm uh, done uploading this video. But. Uh, Killer Instinct, I got the Season 2. And I got the bundle that had a uh, KI2 as well, so. I was playing around some of the different characters. I was uh, playing around as, um... Oh, I was playing as Khan Ra, the mummy guy. I know, I'm not a Killer Instinct official, so. A lot of these guys are new to me. So... I was somewhat familiar with like a lot of the you know like Black Orchid, uh, Jago was another one. Cheap Thunder, I knew a little bit about most of Death Battle. <laughs> By the way, Chuck Norris versus uh, I, I can't remember the guy's name. Yeah, Chuck Norris and Death Battle is not good. Final level, and so I, I want to get like the new guy that got released, uh, Argonos. Or how do we fucking pronounce his name? This guy's fucking huge. I that's what struck me. Is this guy is huge. Like, Jesus, he's fucking like, <laughs> like if the great Kali of Killer Instinct. In that he just towers over everybody else. Like, Cause I was watching a SummerSlam 2007. What's 2007? 2007. Batista Kali for the world. Kali was the world champion when he was still booked to be a serious threat to anybody before they turned into a dancing buffoon. But he, he you know, Runjan Singh's just walking next to him. Runjan Singh's you know a normal size guy. Like, you can see the dwarfism, you know, how just the size difference. So that's kind of how I compare it. As far as like the new character, I like TJ Combo and Maya. Like Omen, a little funky. Um, Omen, Sadria, uh, they're, they're kind of funky in the way they fight, and just that it's a completely different, like, what I, that I like to do, I'm kind of, you know, straightforward, kind of just in your face, kick your ass, so I like characters like Thunder and Polgor, Maya, I like to the speed, TJ Calm, I like just brutality, just the, the so the, but, yeah. I might be up playing a little Minecraft on and off, at least for, you know, tonight and tomorrow, because then, on Tuesday, the Borderlands Handsome Punch up, and I fucking wait. I'm so excited. Borderlands, Borderlands, Predator Guy. Predator Guy announced Mortal Kombat 10. Awesome. Oh, God, um... You'll see the reason I 
I thought you could uh, hurt the bosses with the hammers. I guess not. That's why I picked it. But then I mean, oh wait, like it's like the Tanuki suit, the frog suit, the hammer suit. If you beat the uh, the cast, the fortress, the airship, and you still have that suit, you get like a different uh, text uh, pop up, which is kind of cool. So that ended up being what happened here. I really just enough to. I just did not know. I'll be there two weeks. I don't think I should just do another one next week and I can kind of finish this game. And again, you know, we still got World 7 and 8. So, why should we do that? Well, anyway. Here it is, there's a wand. Um, I got really nothing else. I mean, I could go over my um, WrestleMania picks, so I'll just do that Friday. I did finish South Park Stick of Truth. That game is fucking hilarious. Come on. Level, you have to go into Mr. Slave's ass. There's an achievement for using the Mr. Slave summon. When he gets a call from Big Gay Al, the things are up this man's ass, or why? And it's just like, you know, there's so many references to the show, the movie, even the movie, because you end up, at one point, you can hear Blame Canada when you go into the 16-bit land of Canada. Hilarious. This is probably the best overworld music in the game. Take this out.